putting in the uh, faucet, water faucet for our community garden. We just got the meter put in today, right here. And now we're running the water line so we can have running water to water our community garden with this summer. That's what we're working on right now. Putting in a water line. You gotta dig a trench from there. Right here. A little bit past that. Not right there. Go about six inches this way.
higher than I told Glenn it's going to be, but so oh well. Yeah, it'll work either way.
before we just bury that in, I'm gonna let this all set up. Just turn the water on, I'm gonna open this up. See. And then I'll close it off and see if it fucking holds. Yeah. <laughs> All the glue holds. See if we did good. So we've made it to this point. We now have irrigation piping running horizontally and long ways across the garden. Now, we ain't got it hooked up just yet, but we are getting there. Next thing we gotta do is get the pipes to come up from the tees and it's gonna curve over into the into the garden bed. On the long beds on the sides where we have the T junctions, the four ways, this is gonna run over in underneath the landscape timbers. And then it's going to have a pipe coming up, teeing off in both ways, sending water all the way down. Okay, so at the tops of the stems coming out of each pipe, of each T junction, I'm going to put an elbow that's going to go over into the beds. But before I can put the elbow on, I'm going to have to cut the stems to length based on where the landscape timbers will be in front of them but before I can do all of that work down the entire line I am having to dig out underneath the pipe and get it to depth that way we will be able to cover it up and roll a lawnmower over whatever else we need to roll over top of it walk over it and it won't hurt it and in the winter time it won't freeze and bust anything so I'm using a brick hammer also known as a rock hammer uh, to get up underneath the pipes dig it down to depth uh, just like a uh, Matic works the same way it's got a chisel head on it and uh, does a little grub hoeing down into the dirt um, if you know anything about how the physics of an axe works or a hammer works you basically have all of that energy being put into one focal point in this case it's going to be this chisel or mini matic however you want to put it and what I'm having to do is start at the uh, the intersection here and work my way out and get it down to depth the plan at this point is to get all of the area that's right here down deep and all the dirt on top of it to weigh it down and I'm not weighing down each T junction at the moment as you can see it's in between each T junction that I'm weighing down that will give me time to to go in afterwards and cut these to length and then glue them down into the T-junctions because these are not glued in yet. These are just in place so dirt doesn't get down into the pipe. Uh, so I'm going to keep doing this until the entire grid is buried. And then we'll hook it all up and turn it on. So, didn't have enough pressure in the line. For all the water to come out through the irrigation system so what we decided to do was to get these little slip-on caps we did a little hole in them so the water can just shoot out 
Okay, so it's time to see if our plan worked. Go ahead and turn this on. And we got water coming out. Every single one of them. Awesome. I only drilled a very small hole in each one of the caps just to see if the irrigation system would work with the back pressure. And now that I know that it works, I gotta go through each one of these and go the next size up and drill bit. So that way just a little bit more pressure will escape. Thanks to the kind folks that donated and volunteered their time to our cause, our community garden is fully operational. We have our water meter put in and all of our irrigation line installed. We just got a couple of really good rains that came through, so it's actually not necessary to water the garden today. But for the video, we wanted to show you how everything is working. Now the water pressure isn't at full capacity. There's no need. In fact, when we turn it up all the way, it actually beats the plants up. But this is going to cut down on a lot of volunteer time that's required to perform maintenance on the garden. Which means we can do a lot of things around the church otherwise. We still have more landscape timbers to purchase and install on this side. So there'll be more videos coming. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And click that little notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos coming out. Share this video and like it. Tell your friends about it. Let them know what we're doing over here. With our community garden, we're going to be able to help feed a lot of the low-income families in our community. If you would like to make a donation to our cause, all of the information for our PayPal will be in the link below. And until next time, Blessed be.